Point Weather Report is sponsored by Anderson Plumbing, Heating and Air. Nobody wows clients like we do. Another nice day here in San Diego. Winds kicking up to our east. Lots of things to watch, Angelica. That's right, Kimberly. A couple of changes tomorrow is going to be very different than it's been in the way we started the week. It'll be the coolest day of the week. The winds are going to be picking up and clouds could be heavy enough for a touch of drizzle. So let's take a look at the current conditions in Cardiff. Cloudy skies right now. Most of the clouds are just near the coastline, but most likely they're going to make their way east as we go into tonight. So areas of fog can be expected from the coast all the way into the mountains tonight into early tomorrow. Patchy drizzle also to start off the day on Thursday and windy conditions for tomorrow in our mountains and deserts. So as we look at the difference since yesterday at the same time, you can see 13 degrees cooler Poway, Escondido and also in El Cajon about three to seven degrees cooler near the coastline. The temperatures are in the low 60s of the coast and we're starting to see a nice change in Ramona 70 degrees right now 67 in Escondido at the moment. You see those clouds rattle on the coast and Sanitas, La Jolla making their way closer to PV and that onshore flow is also going to bring some of the wind. So the areas to watch for windy conditions include our mountains all the way back to Borrego Springs with this wind advisory starting at one o'clock in the afternoon on Thursday. So let's take a look at the winds right now. They're averaging 25 30 miles per hour. It is a little windy as we speak, but the winds are going to get stronger. The marine layer is going to be here tomorrow morning. Again, a touch of drizzle can be expected, but the strongest winds will be picking up tonight in the mountains and deserts, continuing into tomorrow with that wind advisory starting at one o'clock in the afternoon. And that's what it looks like at 330 winds between 26, 36 miles per hour in the mountains, but a lot stronger in our deserts where the winds could be strong enough to bring down trees and power lines. We're going to be looking at those winds between 20 to 50 miles per hour right around midnight after that. The wind advisory will be ending and we're expecting those winds to settle back down, but also shift to more of an easterly wind pattern. So we're going to see more changes heading into the weekend and that will mean drier conditions, but also warmer weather. Temperatures near the coast are not going to be fluctuating a whole lot. It is going to stay cloudy at night, clouds in the morning. They'll give away to sunshine, but clouds will be hanging on for most of the day tomorrow. And the same can be said for Sunday next week. Patch of clouds, temperatures in the upper 60s to start. The the month of May. Inland communities will average in the upper 60s tomorrow, mid 70s Friday. Over the weekend, your warmest day will be on Saturday. Then the winds will be shifting once again onshore as a storm system passes to our north. In the mountains, 70s on Saturday, back to the 60s on Sunday, expecting to see more wind once again as we go into the weekend. In the deserts, it'll be a nice day tomorrow. 87 degrees, not expect to see much in the way of drizzle. It'll be mostly dry, but a few clouds are going to make their way to the deserts. Plenty of sunshine and much hotter as we go into the weekend. Kimberly. Thank you, Angela.